okay guys so this video is continuation to my previous video so if uh, you're directly watching this video i recommend you to just uh, watch my previous video which is uh, event monitoring part one where i explained how we can configure monitoring in iib using this node property okay but here uh, i will explain how uh, we can configure monitoring in iib without using these properties right this time we will use monitoring profile okay so how we can do it let's see for that uh, we should have this xml we should create this xml basically this xml uh, basically tells you all these things which you previously did using this node property see this contains similar information <clears throat> your event source address same thing okay your event name same thing your event filter true okay your uh, correlation this local transaction parent transaction and global transaction all here all automatic are selected right if i select this automatic okay then it will work like this okay automatic means one unique id will be automatically generated if you want to provide this path here you can provide this path here <coughs> how you can provide the path just provide this element here okay and under this element just write the path okay this path and remove this okay either you can have automatic or some path okay so you have to remove this in this case so for this example i am keeping it automatic now now it is also using this thing this thing my content and uh, encoding hex binary right content all encoding hex binary so i mean all these details we can basically provide using this xml right similarly for transaction end we have the same thing for transaction end and similarly for this uh, input terminal event for http reply here we have the details okay so you can find this xml in uh, in the description section there is a link given you can download this xml and use uh, the same in your message flow right so let's see how we can uh, basically start with this so in order to achieve my basically configuration of monitoring using this monitoring profile we uh, should run some commands first step will be we have to create some uh, one configurable service so let's create configurable service configurable service integration node name then hyphen c monitoring profile then hyphen o here you can give any name for your monitoring profile um, basically it's a configurable service so i'm giving it like common http input profile okay hit enter configurable service is created now basically associate that this particular uh, basically file properties file with the, your uh, this configurable service i mean right this monitoring properties file you have to associate with your configurable service so for that you have to run this command mqsi change properties your node name again monitoring profiles hyphen o input profile same which you have created above hyphen n profile properties and then hyphen p path of this file okay so let's drag and drop okay 
okay let me uh, hit enter is there something wrong yeah i have provided wrong uh, profile name it's input okay again there is some problem common http input profile let me copy this name okay let me hit enter yeah this time it is successful okay so i mean these two commands are also present in description sec description section just copy the commands from there and use it okay so using these two commands you have to associate your uh, this monitoring profile i mean this xml with your configurable service now next step what should be our next step we have to enable the flow monitoring okay so what is the command let me clear the screen mqsi change flow monitoring okay before enabling uh, this thing let me make some changes let me delete all these things because this time we are not going to make use of these okay delete delete save my flow deploy it again okay now enable its monitoring mqsi change flow monitoring test node ash hyphen e my name execution group name same hyphen k press tab hyphen f my flow name which is gen dot now here in hyphen m i have to provide my monitoring profile name also okay now click enter by doing this i am associating this profile with my flow okay now after uh, it gets associated just enable the flow monitoring so it's same command hyphen c active okay okay let's see if my uh, monitoring uh, is enabled or not how we can check that this thing we have also done in previous video qsi report flow monitoring enter see this is active now let me hit the transaction and see let me insert some record to you okay send okay let's see the database event records table let's see if there are some new transactions or not yeah i can see three new transaction okay the time is 10:15 current is 10:15 okay so one for transaction start one for transaction out and other for transaction end okay i have enabled this monitoring for three things transaction start transaction end and this 
the message received by input terminal of HTTP reply. So this time, without using this property, this pro these properties, right? I am controlling my events using this thing. So let's see in the database if the records are basically a proper yeah same this is my input which i sent okay steve steve okay this is my output records inserted and now my transaction is successfully ended and this is my broker name execution group name message flow name everything is coming in my transaction now this is the only one time activity right what is one time activity this thing uh, I created the configurable service right I created configurable service and after creating configurable service I associated this XML with my configurable service now this is this is one uh, one time step now for any flow which is using HTTP input node now right for any other flow any application you create 10 applications which are similar like using HTTP input HTTP reply right you have to do uh, only this thing you have to run only do these two commands right associate your uh, monitoring profile with your message flow and then enable the monitoring these two commands only you have to run and uh, you can see basically uh, the transactions in your database okay okay if you create 10 flows using HTTP input and and if you just run these two commands then your monitoring will be enabled and you can see the transaction right so this is a very flexible method where you are not touching these properties and you are just controlling these things on the node level and flow level okay so this way you can configure your monitoring event monitoring using basically monitoring profile right similarly you can create a common monitoring pro common monitoring profile for some soap web service or maybe for some mq flow this is for http only so i use this just in in your uh, basically when you will do some practice just try to create for some another kind of application maybe for mq and see the results okay so that's it guys thanks for watching this video